Hey everybody, it's Janine and welcome to Margaritas and Mascara. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I picked up at Ulta, so stay tuned. So, the first thing that I got was the Living Proof Dry Shampoo. I wanted to try this. I had never tried this brand and so I got the travel size of this dry shampoo. Everyone else seems to be able to use dry shampoo. I don't know why I can't embrace this. For some reason I just even if I shower the night before and I know I have to get up early I don't know why the hair just doesn't respond to, to this kind of product a lot of dry shampoos that I've tried leave a gray kind of residue they make your hair look gray and then you're spending all this extra time with your head upside down rubbing the product to get the gray to come out and if you've had any luck with a good dry shampoo. I would love to know what you guys think or what you've tried that's worked. Um, so, but we'll see. Um, the other reason that I got that also is because it does tend to add volume to your hair. If anybody's noticed, even if you're not kind of trying to go a couple days without shampooing your hair, it does tend to add texture to your hair. So um, I thought I would get it, you know, for that reason also. Um, so let's see, where should I start? I have had this uh, foundation before. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay. Um, I got this in the light sand, and this is a full coverage foundation. Um, it's supposedly a 12-hour wear. It has an SPF in it, and it has a mousse-like um, mousse -like texture. I will show you what this looks like. So, um, it does feel nice on the skin, um, and it does actually have pretty good coverage. Let's see if you can see that. Sorry, my skin is so pale. I feel like when I do a foundation or a concealer swatch, it is kind of hard to see because I have zero tan. I really need to self tan, even though it's January, I still feel like it's worth it to do your face and your neck and maybe your lower arm. <laughs> um, I mean, we're covering ourselves up right now. It's like 37 degrees today, but it still makes me feel better, even if I use the face soft tanner that I have just to do that alone. But um, And then the other thing that I picked up was the Laura Mercier uh, loose powder um, with a shaker top. This is just translucent, um, so I'm kind of excited to try that. I have not tried that, and I'm interested to try baking with that under my eye because I have... Um, I'm 51 years old, and I do have a lot of... Um, I guess texture under my eyes and ever since I was even a child I have a crease under each eye and the older I get and depending on the concealer it's like always collecting in that area so definitely want to try baking to see if I can get rid of that issue. Um, and then I picked up the Bare Minerals uh, blush. It's called Gen Nude, the name of the product. Um, that's not the name of the color and it's just a simple uh, powder blush and a compact but I feel like I haven't been shopping in so long that I really needed to just kind of pick up on some staple items um, but that looked like a pretty just an all-around basic pink color um, the name of the color is call my blush I will have everything um, listed below, all of the prices and the details and links um, to Ulta where I got everything. And then I'm not sure why I picked this up. I really want to get a good um, eyeshadow primer um, and I decided to pick up the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer and so I hope that it works. I have had mixed reviews on eyeshadow primers. Um, sometimes I feel like concealer works better. We'll see. 
And then another thing I picked up was the Anastasia bronzer. Really cool case, actually. Um, Rosewood um, is the name of this color. And yeah, so that's that. Like a nice size compact. Um, I also picked up three new brushes. Um, these are by Real Techniques. And these are really cool. These caught my eye, of course, as I was walking to the checkout. Um, how many things do you see? Like, I actually need to get. These are the, it's, uh, the line is called Cashmere Dream by Real Techniques. And they're these pink, um, like, plastic and metallic brushes with a really long handle. And the handle is kind of like angular as you go down the brush handle, which I thought would make it easier to, you know, hold on to. Um, and I did like the shapes on some of these. So I got three brushes. This one here is the blush brush. And then I also picked up this one. This is the contour fan brush. Focus. And then I got the concealer brush as well. So I'm excited to try those. And then I picked up some of the Benefit uh, Roller Lash Mascara that's been out forever. Um, decided to try that. And if anybody is not familiar, this is what this is. Uh, wand applicator looks like. Um, so this is supposed to curl and lengthen your lash. Um, so I'm anxious to try that. And then I picked up the Tarte Sex Kitten Liquid Liner. Um, not sure why I'm showing you the box, but here is the actual applicator. It's got a kitty cat on the end. Why doesn't my camera like to focus? Focus, camera, focus. Anyway, this is the perfect, for me at least, I love this kind of felt tip. And then I picked up the Morphe palette. This is the bronze goals. Um, palette and there is a sampling of matte and shimmer shadows in this. Let's show you what this looks like. So mostly warm shades, neutrals. There are some pretty um, shimmer shades in this. And so I really like the Morphe palettes. I mean they're affordable and the quality is pretty good you guys. So. I thought I would check that out. And then at checkout, of course, they had, you know, different face masks. And these I thought looked kind of actually pretty cozy. So I wound up picking up some of these as well. And yeah, that's it, guys. So hope you enjoyed this haul. If you have any questions or comments, um, I'll see you down below in the comment section. I'd love to know what your favorite products are from Ulta or if there's anything new that you are trying out right now. So. Um, I'd love it if you would stick around and subscribe, hit the um, notification bell as well so that you are aware and notified whenever I um, post a new video. And yeah, so have a great day guys and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!